Hello everyone, Alan Shura here, and today is October 29, 2017. Here we are going to introduce our new prototype, the X1. It's a little bigger and it has more power than the first prototype, and it's a bit of a scale up. Let's take a look at the engines. Unimotor 12 volt. And the other one is brand new, unused, anyway. Siemens motor. And this one is brushless DC. Whereas this one's permanent magnet motor that we... So they're going to have a different magnetic waveform. So we have had uh, two findings, or I have had two findings in, over the course of the last year in the research in the motor generators. One is that there is a potential voltage acceleration. The second one is a circuit that increases the power. We call this prototype the X1 and, and uh, now I'll be calling this circuit the uh, um, <clears throat> low resistance circuit or LRC. So it'll be Shura Energy uh, low resistance circuit and, and I'll have the updates at the website. Now there's a website shuraenergy.com and there's a new tester here it's a parameter tester and we'll be using that a little later too it presents a little bit more detailed information including the time and temperature and this shows one of the big advantages to the technology here in that I'm swapping out parts that are available there's millions of DC motors in use and they've all been tested so there's uh, very uh, you know people have used these and they've been tested for standards and safety it it looks like the circuit works with with this combination so I don't know how many different types of motors the circuit will work on But actually, this test would have been, with this prototype, would have been about a hundred tests ahead because there's a lot of things I would have found out before getting to this. But I just happened to come across this motor in a local garage estate sale, and it was unused, brand new, and it had the same size shaft. So I took the opportunity, and our job is to separate the effects in the system to see the contribution and see what effects are enhanced in combination and what effects may be decreased in combination. Here it is, October 30th, 2017, and we'll get on with a quick test with the X1. Here, it's powered by the AC adapter, and this is just a quick test to compare the two units. So it's 6.75 watt on this AC adapter. Anyway, so it's got, uh, we'll start it up in the normal way. Okay, it's connected now. And there's our voltage. It is turning. It did have this turn connecting the regular way and now with the light bulb, we'll try the light bulb here.
using the light bulb yeah using the light bulb there's there's no glow at all it doesn't slow it down really either that's just uh, the momentum and the voltage so very low very low voltage but you can see it's not a steady voltage either as it's it uh, it's trying to move and you see it's pretty slow there's not much torque now I'll take the light bulb off and you can see you can just touch it like that and it'll stop with one finger not very much torque at all so that's how the ordinary input output calculations are made mathematically using electrical watts with a motor generator but you just saw that I put my finger on there and there was no mechanical watts hardly at all being delivered but there's still 6.75 electrically calculated watts so now we'll try with the circuit and of course today we have one member of the audience very interested here's the test with the circuit the lowest resistance circuit as it's now called still using the AC adapter to a diode which I don't really know if we need for this particular test but it's a 6 amp diode and the rotation is much faster remember that when we added one light bulb it wouldn't even glow with the same power and now the rotation is faster so let's add a light bulb there and we got a glow already that's more power because it wouldn't even glow without the circuit there you go there's two of them glowing Look. Yes, well, what we have learned then is that electrical watts and physical mechanical watts are not always equivalent. The watt is originally a classical physical watt and it's been converted mathematically into an electrical watt. We saw 6.75 watts going in without the circuit um, when it was attached the way that calculation is done. And the output was very little, the bulb didn't light. So the uh, physical watts are the watts that you can use from the turning rotation sometimes called torque we have to use our electricity for something for heat for light or mechanical power are the three main uses so mechanical watts for mechanical power if, uh, if you were trying to turn a pump or a car or something of that nature where you're actually using the power as its end result mechanical watt not always equivalent to the electrical watt we have seen but if you take that formula it, uh, it does not add up to the output 
because the output should be less. But you saw that with the circuit we had an output that was higher. And we know that the circuit will work again with uh, the motors can be interchanged. Check out the Indiegogo campaign, contribute if you can, what you can, and spread the word on social media.